Once upon a time, a blue-eyed boy from the Old West learned one of life's cruelest lessons, that evil was bigger than his gun. So he followed the footsteps of a mysterious master to the Far East, where he learned the secrets of the sword and came back home with the heart of a gunman and the soul of a samurai. Johnny had a dream of being the biggest hero round. There wouldn't be an enemy that he could not put down with a gun. Then one day Johnny met his match and turned his world around. He changed his name and learned the Shogun way of land of the rising sun. Once upon a time, a blue-eyed boy from the Old West learned one of life's cruelest lessons, that evil was bigger than his gun. So he followed the footsteps of a mysterious master to the Far East, where he learned the secrets of the sword and came back home with the heart of a gunman and the soul of a samurai. Samurai Gumbi. During the pioneer days in America, there was a young man named Johnny who lived in a small gold mine in town. He had many dreams, one of which was to become the greatest hero that ever lived. He and the sheriff spent much of their time roaming around in search of adventure, as everyday life in their town was, for the most part, peaceful. That is, until just recently, when people began being reported missing at a nearby ravine. Sensing grave danger, Johnny went to the ravine to explore. What he found was a dark and narrow gorge into which it would be easy for someone to fall and into the river below. After a while, Johnny gave up his search, convinced there was nothing to be found. Then, just as he was turning to go home, his horse suddenly fell out from under him. Johnny jumped off his horse and drew his gun. Come out, I'll kill you all. He fired off several rounds from the gun given to him by his late father. The only thing running through his mind was to kill these unknown assassins and achieve his lifelong dream, to become a hero. However, none of the bullets he fired found their mark. And suddenly, with a flash of light, Johnny fell to the floor unconscious, with blood flowing from his face. Johnny woke up in pain. Suzuki, his father's lifelong friend from Zipangu, saved him. Johnny spoke of the incident at the ravine with Suzuki in hopes that Suzuki would teach him Zipangu's legendary fighting technique. Suzuki, 
A master of this ancient fighting art agreed to teach Johnny, knowing that Johnny's life would be forfeit otherwise. A few days later, Suzuki and Johnny departed to Zipangu. Many years have passed. Johnny is now a master of both his own traditional fighting method and Zipangu's. He wields his gun and the blade of the samurai with equal skill. He commits himself to his new name, Zan, and returns to his hometown. Aren't you? Well, I'm not gonna let you get away with it anymore! Hey, hey, is that any way to treat a hero? Huh? You! You're Johnny! I... I thought you'd been killed! You're the bartender, huh? Hard to recognize you with all those bandages. And by the way, my name isn't Johnny. It's the super ultra sexy hero, Zan. What the hell are you talking about? And what's with that outfit of yours? No, I don't have time for small talk. Our town was attacked by some strange looking folks. What? They came here for the gold. We tried to fight back, but I don't know. These people were different. Most of the townspeople were killed. And if someone doesn't step in soon and do something, they'll take over the town in no time. The Jackal. Well, they aren't going to get away with this. They took my town. They'd better get ready for a surprise. Wait! You can't beat them alone! Let's <laughs> go. 